Hi, and welcome back to the Low Level Devil Channel's Build Your Own Linux Distribution from Scratch series. If you haven't seen the previous videos, check the description for a link to the playlist. In this video, we're going to continue on the development of the Simple Package Manager. We'll create a linked list to load all of the package, all the uh, packages in the repository. So let's get started. First, we're going to start by creating a new file here which we'll call package list.c. Okay, and now first let's define what the uh, functions are going to be in this, which we'll put in the package.h file. So let's go over to package.h. Scroll down here to the bottom, we'll add some new function de uh, definitions. First, we're going to actually create the uh, package uh, linked list uh, data structures. So, package list entry, which is going to contain a package and a pointer to the next. And we'll call that package list entry. Then, we're going to actually create a package list type as well which is going to have a package list entry head and package list entry tail and we'll call that package list okay so now let's start creating some functions for it first we'll start with the package load all We're gonna take in a root and then a package list so we'll load all of the uh, packages from that repository in that root to the package list. Let's see then a package load which takes a root and a name and actually we already have that. We created that last uh, video. So let's uh, create one that returns package the ll.dos package and this one's called package list find so we want to find a package in a package list by name we'll also need one to add so this one will return a package list entry we'll call it package list add it's going to take the list to add to and the package to add and let's see anything else we want to add for this one. Yeah, we'll add a uh, package is installed function. I don't know that we'll implement that yet, but we, we're going to need one. That's, that's probably enough actually for this video. So we'll move over to the C file, the package list.c. Okay, I'm just going to paste in the headers here to start off and the first one we want to start with is the package list entry package list add and remember this is going to take in the package list that we want to add the item to and the package that we want to add so Let's see, at the very top, we'll just do a sanity check to make sure they didn't pass in null. Uh, we'll just say invalid package if it's null. And we'll return a null pointer, zero. And so now <clears throat> we're going to initialize a new package entry, or package list entry with malloc and we'll mem set that to zero and so the first thing that we want to do is if the list's head is null that means this is going to be the first item in the list so we can just simply set the head and the tail to this child. There we go. 
otherwise we want to add it onto the tail so in order to do that we want to do is say tail next equals child and now we're going to set the new tail to be child list tail equals child So that should pop it onto the, uh, push it onto the end of the, the list. And hopefully you understand this. It's kind of a basic linked list structure, a single linked list. So, all right. So after that, we can say child next equals null because it's the last item in the list. And child package equals package. Then we just return the child. You can add some error handling as well if malloc fails if you want to. I'm not going to go too deep into the error handling for these tutorials. So now we'll handle the find. This is another pretty simple one. So it takes the package list and the name of the package we want to find. So we just want to do a for loop starting at the head e equals list head see e is not null and then e equals e next <laughs> so we're using stir comp to make sure that name equals package name if it does then we know we found the right one and we can just return e pck otherwise return null at the end which means the uh, package wasn't found on the list. And then let's see, the other function that we want to do is this is the loading of the packages. So if you remember the package structure, that, that'll help here. So we'll call this package load. It's going to return a bool, load all takes in the root and then the package list you want to add all of these into. Right, so if you remember the repo structure, there's the first letter of the package for each one and then the uh, package name as another directory. So what we're going to do is for all the base directories, they're going to start with A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Q, R, S, T, V, W, X, Y, Z, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Those are the possible values of that first directory. So what we're going to do is just kind of iterate through this base stairs character array, starting at the very first one. While it's not null, while we haven't reached the end of the string, we're going to B++. So then what we're going to do is char full path. We'll just use 1024. We'll use SN printf to put the full path size of full path minus one. Then it's going to be percent s slash repo slash c. And the first s will be root and then the actual character that we're on which you know for the first one it will be repo A then repo B and so on and then for each of those directories we want to essentially list the contents and we're going to use the dir int entry and we'll use open dir full path And if that directory exists, that'll be non-null. At the end, we want to close that directory. So, so if uh, if it exists, we're gonna do a while loop through each of the f files or directories in that list. So, if the entry d underscore name, the very first character, if the very first character is a dot, then it's gonna be either the uh, dot or the dot dot directory or it could be a hidden file or something like that 
so we'll skip those. We're only interested in ones that have a real name. So, and to do that, we're going to call package list add that list, and then we're going to call our function package load, which we created previously, passing in the root and the name of that directory. So yeah, if you remember this one, we created it before, which uses uh, the code to run that, open that YAML file. So for instance, g and glibc would be the d name there for for that one package we created. So if that fails, we're going to return false. And I think that's all that we need to do. I think that pretty much covers it. Let's see if we can make, and it looks like everything compiled fine. So let me clear, and let's go back to our main.c. You know, previously we were just kind of hard coding a uh, loading of the glibc one, so we can get rid of all this. We'll go to our uh, package load all. And it's going to take in the root, which I guess we can also hard code that for now. We'll eventually set this from properties we read and a list object. So we need to create a package list list. We're going to initialize it all to zero. And I'm going to copy this directory, put it in there. So that should take the repo in there and load it all. So if that fails, then we're just going to f print to f std error. Let's see, failed to load package packages. Then we'll return negative one. So if it succeeds, let's just print out all the package information, or some basic information at least. So we'll do a for loop for each of the entries in that list, starting at head. Let's see, while e, yeah, while e is not null, and then e equals e next. So let's see, we'll print out saying that we found a package or we'll just for each of these we'll just say package and then we'll put the uh, name and version. And anything else we want to put there. Uh, at the top top level we'll just put package name, package version. So then we'll tab and source, we'll put that in there too. Source. And then I know one of these has some dependencies, so we'll print out its dependencies as well. At least I think this one does. Zlib doesn't have dependencies, but let's see. Does bzip2 have dependencies? No. Actually, zstd, I know that one has dependencies. So we'll, yeah, that one has dependencies, zlib and xz. So we'll print out the dependencies so you can see any dependencies for the package that got loaded. So let's see, depths, slash in, and then we'll have another line for each of the dependencies. We'll actually, you know, enclose this in an if statement, so we'll only show depths if it has dependencies. And it's complaining about something here. Not sure what. Well, just keep going on. So, let's see, e, 
Yeah, that's correct. Alright, well, um, so we need to for loop through each of these steps. So, forester list L equals EPCK depths. But we actually want the address of that. There we go. And that just made, reminded me that's not a, a pointer. That, there you go, that's why it's complaining. So, depths.stir. So, we want to loop again while L and LSTR are not null. And L equals L next. And we'll just print f two tabs this time, a dash, and then percent s. We'll put the name of the dependency, which will be Elster. And anything else? We'll print another line so there's a empty space between each of these packages. Make it a little easier to read. That should be all for this. Let me just clear and make no compile errors. So let's just run it. And it failed to load packages. So let's go to this load all. Why would it fail? So that would return false if, uh, oh, at the end I didn't put a return true. At the end it should say return true. So let's make that again, clear, run it, and there we go, there's our list of packages. Starts with bzip2, 108, the source, gcc its source, glibc its source, shadow its source, zlib, and zstd, and that one has some dependencies, zlib and xc. So, there you go. I think this is a good stopping point for this video. I just wanted to show you how we're going to actually load these into a list. Um, in the next one, I think we're going to start actually creating the parameters for the program, and we'll see m how much farther we get after that as well. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it. If you did, uh, please share it, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and all that, and thanks for watching.